Good day, grade 12 learners. Welcome to today's business studies lesson. My name is Sidi Sotlaka. We'll be looking now into practice questions and application questions based on your investment security, looking into your forms of investment. Now, our first practice question is a scenario based which requires us to calculate. So we have to read the scenario below and answer questions that follow. Now, we have Tapelo. Tapelo invested an amount of 7,000 in a fixed deposit at 10%. I like Tapelo. Tapelo is just too smart because investment is the way to go. So he has invested in a fixed deposit at 10% simple interest per year over a period of two years. So basically Tapelo has invested for two years and has invested 7,000 in a fixed deposit. We also have Alfred. We invested an amount of 7,000 in a fixed deposit as well, at 10% as well, but compounded annually for two years. Meaning, when we're talking about compounded, it has to be calculated differently from the way in which the simple interest for Tapelo would be calculated. So, let us look into our question. Now, question one. Calculate the simple interest that Tapelo will receive after two years and show your calculations. Then... We also have question two, which says now calculate the compounded interest that Alfred will receive after two years. Show your calculations. Now, let's start with calculating simple interest from our guy, Tapelo. Tapelo invested, remember, 7,000 fixed deposit. 10%. So we need to take the most important information here. What is the principal amount? The principal amount is 7,000. What is the interest? 10%. For how many years? Two years. This is the vital information because we are dealing with calculations. So this is for two years. And another important information is that Tapelo has invested using simple interest, meaning the method we're going to use to calculate is simple interest. Now, this is our principal amount, this is our interest, and this is our number of years. Now, let's start. Year 1. What is the principal amount? 7,000. Multiply by 10%, which is now 10 over Hundred, which now what is our answer there? Ten percent of your seven thousand supposed to make seven hundred. Now the instruction comes in. Remember, we are calculating simple interest. Do we add this interest to the capital or principal amount? No, we don't do so because this is simple interest. We simply move to year. Two and say again 7,000 multiply by 10 over 100 which is equals to 700 then interest for year 1 plus interest for year 2 that is our new formula then we convert and say now 700 plus 700 is equals to our final answer because now we are calculating the simple interest that Tapelo will receive. We are not calculating the simple interest plus compounded or we are not calculating the simple interest plus the principal amount. So the answer here is supposed to be your 1,000 400 because 700 times 2 is equals to 1400 so we have showed all our calculations to say how did we get our answer so this is your final answer then we move now into question two calculate the compounded interest that alfred will receive after two years show your calculation now the focus is on Alfred. Again, what is our principal amount? Our principal amount is 7,000. Then we look into the interest. What is our interest? 10%. And then how many years? The number of years? Two years. And what is key? 
is that the interest has to be compounded into the principal amount. So we start our calculation and we say, year one, how much is our investment principal amount? This is your 7,000. Then what is the percentage? The percentage interest is 10 over 100. Multiply equals to the answer. The answer is supposed to be 700. But now we go back to the question. The question. This is very, very key because sometimes you know the answer, but you have... You, you were just too excited and decided that ah, no, I know everything. So that is very dangerous. Always keep yourself composed when you're dealing with calculations and say now we are dealing with what compounded meaning now. The 700 has to be added into the principal amount because this is, it says now interest has to be added into the principal amount. So before we start calculating year two, you have to say now, 700 plus 7,000 plus 700. What is the answer there? The answer is 7,700. That is your answer. So this becomes the new principal amount that we are going to use when we calculate year two. So we go to year two and say now the principal amount is 7. 1,700 multiplied by 10 over 100, which is equals to what now? 770. So this is the interest you aimed for year two. This is the interest that Alfred aimed for year two. And for year one, he aimed 700. For year two, he aimed 770. Are we done? No, because we have to calculate the interest in total for two years. So basically, we have to say year one plus year two. Then what is the answer? So we're going to say the interest for year one is 700 plus the interest for year two, which is now 770. 70. So the answer that becomes now 1,470. 1, so that is your answer over there. So hoping I was able to give you tricks that you will use. But what is key is to underline the most important information for your calculations. So with that being said, let us take a short break and we will continue with the other parts of our lesson. Thank you.